Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Work and Draft server, I want to show off a lot of the progress that we made. Got a beautiful city hall up there, we got a beautiful little aimbot house down here. I built myself a little place carved out into the mountain, and look at this, I found the most perfect man ever, it's Doc Redstone. Howdy Doc. How's it going, Joe? It's going outstanding well. Uh, what we're hoping to do this episode also is to get a little tree tap tree farm going on down there at Jada's place. She's busy uh, over there setting up stuff. Jada, you want to say hi? Hi. So first, Doc, uh, I want to kind of show you how to make a tree tap, an automated All tree right. tap. What we got here in our first auto crafting table is eight bronze in a square to make a sturdy casing. If you come over here to our last auto crafting table, I've got four glass and four tree taps, and we put the sturdy casing in the middle, and we get this tree tap machine here. And if I just kind of put it down in this hole with no trees around and absolutely nothing else going on, you'll see it's a pretty intimidating machine. It's uh, ribbed for no one's pleasure, I'll tell you that. So we're going to just go ahead and hit it with a pick and try and find some utility for it over at Jaded's little tree farm place. So uh, the best way is just to go down these stairs here. Uh, Doc, do you mind? Uh, a lot of my viewers might not have seen much of you. You were in the Redstone Wars video with me. Uh, wow, okay, or just jump. You can jump. <laughs> uh, uh, I was going to ask I, I, I gave, I gave, I gave Doc a present earlier. Oh, did he get the long fall boots? Yeah, I gave him they're a amazing. Oh, nice. I need to make some of the rubber ones like I have on the other server. Long fall ones are better. Yeah, but they I think they take, like, extra materials that it's, I'm not... It, it, it's four obsidian and 12 iron bars. Okay, well, with the amount of lava we have uh, pumping in... Um, I everywhere. have the materials uh, in here to do it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Maybe. awesome. I could be wrong. I'm not sure about the obsidian, but I know I definitely have... Uh, it doesn't look like I have any obsidian left. Sorry, I will get you some. I will drop them at your house. Oh, that would be very kind of you. Thank you, Jade. So, what Jade has here is a tree farm. It is constructed atop what is known as hummus, which is a combination of essentially, like, ground up, uh, what is it, like, it's like lemon oil, <laughs> and, no. uh, some no. sort of, like, Middle Eastern seeds, no. and you put it on your <laughs> pita chips, uh, no, 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 no let no. me open it up in nearly enough items and see what it is, it's H-U-M-U-S, it, 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 it's eight dirt in a chest around, um, fertilizer, or compost, one or the other, which can be made with ash and dirt, um, amongst other things, so, yeah. Awesome. Have that tree tap? Okay, uh, yeah, uh, let me throw you the tree tap here. And it kind and of... of course you, yeah. Mm. I, yeah, I'm the best at throwing things. This is why my pr career as a professional baseball player ended at the t-ball level. Um, this, uh, this is a, probably actually a good time to show you two things. So first off, you want to put it down. Um, I'm going to put it down here because that's close to everything. And it's not getting any power. These are conduits. Have you seen them before, Joe? Conduits? No. What are they? Are they like buildcraft pipes? Or? They're, they're either from thermal expansion. For one, they look a lot prettier than pipes. Sorry, craft. Um, two, they are, they are more efficient than a gold conductive pipe. Um, that sounds pretty efficient. Yeah. So we, we put them... The one thing is you need a wrench to remove them. You have to sneak and right-click. Get rid of them. You cannot break these with your hand. Like, I don't know if you've ever experienced that fun with build craft where you aim and you kind of break a pipe on accident. Yeah, and, I've, I've done yeah. that. Annoying. Yeah, who hasn't, right? Um, but the other part of it is, so you see, see there's this little dot here on the end of this. Mm -hmm. Right now, it can both draw and give power from there. If you want to ensure it will only go one way, that way sends power to the end. This way draws power. At both, you want to, you know, for, for ease, I like to just make it so it's all sent. This will draw as much power as you can give it. So you really want to be careful about that. But Will, will it draw enough power to blow itself up? Can it overload? No. no. It will draw off. The nice thing about cons, they're smart pipes. If this was an electrical conductive pipe, what could happen is that the tree far, the, the tree tap, you can see we're already getting rubber there, and unfortunately my diamond pipes are not set up to handle rubber right yeah, now. Yeah, see, they're just bouncing that around. Uh, come on, come on out. Okay. Go through the red pipe, too. Um, and the red pipe leads to this chest over here. Yep. The, uh, 
So where is that harvest in the rubber from? I don't even see any rubber. Or rubber trees. Oh, they're popping up. Oh, see the leaves? Yeah, I see the leaves. So wait, um, now I see this golden okay, axe so, box so here. This, this is the is way that just works, a fancy okay? design for this, a shoe container, or what does that if, do? If, if you right-click on this one here to the right, right next to the um, tree tap, this is your farm. Um, what you do is you put the hummus in the one side. Uh, you put your tree saplings in the part with the little tree symbol. It, the hummus turns to sand um, after a tree has grown on it, um, which is a great way of getting sand to make things like boggers. Mm -hmm. um, but so then it plants them on the hummus the 15 by 15 it, it automatically puts out a 15 by 15 um, group of hummus and saplings the other one you, you if you try right clicking on it nothing happens this is a logger it chops okay. down the trees as soon as they grow up what occurs here is that the rubber tree tap the tree the automatic tree tap sucks the rubber off the trees which is why if you put if you were to like put rubber trees in the ground and put this down there what it does is because of the way it sucks the rubber out can't the, the trees never regrow their rubber you have to chop them down oh okay. um if however you have a logger here with that the logger chops the tree down for you it all goes into this handy little thing you can then put the rubber wood wood in a uh, in an extractor and get rubber out of it too that's pretty cool now um i see the leaves are decaying and stuff when uh saplings start to fall out of here they get caught they get sucked up by the uh, logger as well it will suck up saplings apples and rubber and put them all in the pipes and drop them in the uh chest. okay that's pretty cool and so then theoretically i could start uh, rigging it so it would automatically send rubber tree saplings back into the planter here? And in fact, uh, I often do set that up. I just don't have it set up right now mm -hmm. um, because I was actually doing spruce. Yeah, are you guys planning to do quite a bit of IC2? Uh, probably at some point. I've, I've had a lot of fun playing with uh, IC2, if, if but I want to on... try something new as well. Yeah, have you ever done much with the diamond pipes, Joe? Yeah, I mess with them on my quarry on on the so other server you, I play on. You know how to send one third in one direction and two thirds in the other. I mean, yeah, you can. Uh, every branch it has, it'll make a fifty percent split, and so yeah, you just split it and split it again, that sort of thing. Or well, you put two uh, two in one and one in the other, and it'll do a one and two thirds split. Oh, I see what you mean by having the rubber tree sapling in the red once and the blue twice. Uh, it will yeah. send most of it back, but I I took it out because. Uh, Actually, rubber tree saplings drop less frequently than other saplings, so I just want it to go straight back. Um, yeah, you don't want to waste any. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I, I, I want them to go in. Um, if we were setting up, say, an automatic biomass farm, we would... Why do I... Uh, well, I've still got it in the red. I wanted it in the blue. Here. Yeah, I've had plenty of trouble with those, too. It's, it's, so, it's so easy to just go like, oh, yeah, this is right. Oh. That's why I always keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the one that I personally was the most impressed by was my seven and a half hour storage build using nothing but barrels and pipes that I didn't test before I flipped the switch. Uh oh. It worked. It worked perfectly. Oh, well, that that's fortunate. Uh, anything my my I stream for, was in shock. <laughs> anything I work on for seven and a half hours and turn it on without testing, that's, that's going to just blow up. Um, it worked like, perfectly. Uh I don't know that lower end computers could handle the entity lag, but there was like six thousand items flowing through the pipes. <laughs> wow. I got down to like twelve FPS and I'm usually at two hundred, so <laughs> Pretty impressive. Doc, uh do you have any comments? I, I notice you're kinda quiet. Uh, but uh, you know what? The the other thing we could cover right here on this one. See this block here, Joe? Have you been wondering at all what this block does? No, because I right clicked on it and it said sawmill. So I figured yes, it was some sort nice of sawmill. Part, the nice part about sawmill, you know how when you put wood in a crafting table, it makes four planks? Mm hmm. Sawmill makes six planks plus sawdust, which can be turned into charcoal. Ah, oh, nice. More stuff. Or much more. So right now it's set up to send regular wood straight to there, which is how if you need wood planks for anything, just toss the correct sapling in here. I'll have it set up soon to auto put hummus in. Um, go ahead and just toss the uh, the correct type of sapling in this thing, and back and watch it go, and it will give you planks. 
beautiful. Or, or if you know, you want, like, say, one of the ones that we've got plenty of right now, I have two barrels of spruce and you're free. Yeah, I might have to grab some of this to decorate my currently just dug out house. So As thank said, you, Jade. Help yourself. Um, that's why I put this up here. Is I figure y'all are going to be using a lot of resources, and this will output from now until affinity. Now, oh, awesome. Um, if nobody's going to be using the rubber, though, I highly recommend we turn off the rubber tree tap. Oh, uh, I brought a lever. So will levers still work with these conduits? Um, I believe so. I've never attempted it. It didn't seem to matter. I, 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 but we can easily just. Can I put go. a lever on the conduit? Oh, well, oh, that's an easy way to turn it off. Yeah, nice and cool. It'll go away. It'll stop once it runs out of energy. It and, stores uh, a certain amount inside it. That's, and why that's the, what that the bar, bar is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it seems to be gaining energy. Oh, now it's dropping finally. So, it just takes a while. It's got enough to do a couple, but it shouldn't be getting power from anywhere. Honestly. Oh, I see. I see. That's pretty cool. It's slowing down and it's stopped. Mm -hmm. um, now, now, theoretically, let's test something here. Should be able to turn this as an out, and it should not get energy. If it does get energy, I'm gonna have to talk. Sorry, uh, you Yeah. Theoretical didn't. Oh, no. Okay. Good. So if you set it, if you just right click this and set it to output, it will turn it off. Cool. Well, good okay, so know. that's got a built-in switch. Uh, Doc, you, you tried to say something earlier. Sorry, you got cut off. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's all good. Um, I think it was one. I believe is an answer to one of your questions, but I've forgotten the question. Was it your IC two activity? Oh, no, you were just, I guess you said I hadn't said much, and so you said if I had anything to add, but uh, I've done quite a bit with pipes and stuff, so um, I was kind of just if, listening. If nobody's and... going to be using rubber trees, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the rubber tree production for now. Yeah, that's probably safe. I'll um, just send the saplings out. Uh, I'm going to do jungle saplings next, because that's what I don't have a lot of um, wood of right now. That makes sense. Jungle saplings, and I'd like us to be able to have every type of, of wood available for decorative purposes. Yeah, the more the better. Um, so I've got one other thing that I had prepared for this video um, for my base itself. Uh, Doc Redstone. I haven't seen your base. I want to see your yeah, base. Yeah, come on over, Jade. I was going to build a uh, coke kiln. Doc Redstone, have you seen a coke kiln? Oh, dear. I have in the movies. Yeah, what they like to like to spread it out on the mirrors and then like use the credit card and tap on it and stuff. Yes. I'm gonna go this way. Bye. <laughs> Illegal drug use. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I try not to talk about anything. Uh, or we're not actually gonna do anything illegal because if we talk about it and we record it, for one thing, that's just a level of foolishness that I will not abide. If you're gonna do hey, something criminal. Whose house is the red thing? Oh, that's Ames. Red. She. Ugh. Yeah, I need to get a better texture for that because that's just awful. Oh, really? It looks really good with the default texture. Uh, it is the default texture, and I hate it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know that I you don't like, like a lot orange. of the default textures, but yeah. Orange. So, Ugh. anyway, Doc, this middle auto crafting table here has a recipe for a Coke oven brick. And what a Coke oven brick does is it is one of many, many of Coke oven bricks that you will need to make an entire Coke oven. It's one of them multi-block things, kind of like a snow golem or whatever, where you got to kind of actually like combine a whole bunch of these bricks to make the thing itself. Now, uh -oh. it's a 3x3 three three at the bottom, and then it makes like a donut here. And that's really easy to remember because, you know, people who like to drink Coca-Cola also drink a lot of donuts. Right? Super easy. They, they drink donuts? Yes. See, this is a mnemonic device that anyone can remember. So now when you drink right click... donuts. Now when you right click on it, though... I don't uh, think you can drink donuts. I'm no. not a helpful person. Okay, you gotta remember that. Oh, hey, I found some appetite. Anyway, uh... So appetite? on the sides here, here, it's got these little, uh, glass of, or little vents or whatever you can see. Oh. I was just gonna bury it in the floor because it's prettier. But if you uh, drop coal in here, uh, what it'll start to do is oh. convert it to coke. 
which is a high-end, uh, refined form of coal that can then be used to produce steel. Or if you put it in a normal oven or a generator or something, it'll produce like four hundred. Uh, is it forty thousand uh, EU or whatever? It's a lot. Yeah, it's ten times that of coal. Now so. it takes a lot of time to run, though. So usually, what I, it so what, produces sixteen thousand EU. Sixteen thousand. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. That's four times that of coal. Um, but yeah. so I, what I, I was going to hit a tiny problem here. What's my tiny problem here? I could have sworn you have to pipe it out from the side. Oh, well, um, I was just... The thing is, it runs so slow. If I put a whole stack in here, it would take, like, I think, 24 hours or something ludicrous to run. Maybe not 24, but, like, 12. So, what I was just going to do was going to build a whole bunch of these and kind of tile my floor in here with it and have kind of glass, like, along the sides here so you can see if it's lit up or not, and that would look cool. So, like, kind of have a torch down there at the bottom, and the, I'll, I'll, like, come back and actually make this prettier later. You, you could be really nice and give me that appetite. Oh, yeah, because I know you need it for the hummus. So, yeah, what, yeah. one sec. Hiding down there. It's, a, it's trying to stay away from me. I, I, I will rescue it from not being with you. Don't worry, Jade. I will, I will not allow it that fate. It would be so far too cruel. I will take cruel. it home and make it into tasty Greek dessert. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's not a dessert. It's, a, it's, it's an appetizer. <laughs> That's, that's that's where the you name Appetiti came from, because it's for appetizer. Appetize. Why am I jumping nonstop? Okay, that oh. fixed. Okay, well, whatever. Here's your six Appetiti. And I've actually got another three in this chest here. Let me hand those to I, you, I, too. I need those for our tree farm. Yeah, please. Uh, I really appreciate you doing all that work on the infrastructure. But, yeah, so, anyway, you get the basic idea. I was going to kind of tile the floor with, like, three or four of these because they take so long to run anyway. That way, anytime I come past, I can and, just throw a bunch of coke And you were going to, like, say, put a nice iron tank in the center that all of them could pipe their um, creosote oil into? Well, I haven't figured out what I want to do with the creosote oil because I was actually thinking about doing some sort of sculpture with the glass tanks um, where it pumps them in and then out through pipes, like some sort of cool... Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I can do a cool art installation with them. If I can't, then I'm going to use an iron tank. But for right now, I'm leaving that open-ended. Okie dokie. So, anyway, um, until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee, joined by Jaded Cat. Any last words, Jaded? Bye-bye. And Doc Redstone. Any last words, Doc? Peace out. Until next time, y'all. Keep adventuring. <laughs>